What is up guys, welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. And if you haven't seen what I said in the previous um, episode in the comments, you might be wondering why the world are you in New Barktail? Well, about that guys, um, so I went ahead and tried to record the freaking episode yesterday, or about last night, because I got bored and wanted to just go ahead and get it over with. And I tried to record me going through the Elite Four, and apparently, I don't know, maybe I hit the wrong button or something, I don't know exactly what happened, but it was showing me recording, and by the time I realized it, I was here, and looked over, and the recording software was frozen. So, yeah, it saved the entire progress that I did of beating the Elite Four, and none of it recorded. It is really, really irritating that that happened, but it, I guess it is what it is. Unfortunately, um, I, I will be honest with it. I won't say like, oh yeah, we smashed through it like it was nothing, everybody's fine. Smooshy and Victoria both died. Like, Smooshy got hit by Wobbuffet with Mirror Coat, which pissed me off so freaking much. Like, I I thought maybe I would get lucky. I, I shouldn't have even thought that. I should have went for uh, something to confuse it or put it to sleep. I should have went to Ruby and put Spore on it, and that way it couldn't attack back. But I, I was an idiot and ended, ended up just trying to one-shot it with a, uh, with a Surf. And it went for Mirror Coat. And yeah, Smooshy got knocked out for that one. Victoria, I think it was a Kangaskhan or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. I was just so pissed when it happened. Had a uh, rock type move hit hit Victoria, basically one shot it, and it was gone. But we was able to finish it off with freaking uh, our remaining four mons in there. With Ruby, whew, Ruby is one massive powerhouse when it came to those fights. Freaking hitting Spore and then Strength, Psybeam, and uh, Crunch depending on what it was. Oh my god, she is a powerhouse when it comes to fighting Mons right now. Spore immediately guaranteed to put them to sleep basically and then just smacking them around while they're asleep. Yeah, she's she's some power. I would love to get Dream Eater on her instead of Psybeam. <laughs> that would be insane. But yeah, her special attack is really, really, it's pretty decent, I would have to say, but yeah. So unfortunately, I think the way I'm going to go ahead and do this... Oh yeah, and I got an amulet coin, I don't remember, did I say that in the last one? I don't remember if I said that, but yeah, I think I did. That I got an amulet coin. Where did I get that amulet coin now? I think I got that victory road. Yeah, I did. I remember I got that Victor Road. So yeah, these two unfortunately are no longer viable, which... Hi Professor Elm. Hello Knight, I have something for you. Could you swing by the lab? See you later! Yeah, we'll come back in a second. I gotta go ahead and deposit some mons in the freaking thing. What I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is just count it as an official victory for it and just continue on. Unfortunately, I, I really wish I could have shown the footage of it or something of it, but it didn't happen. But I'm still going to consider Smooshy or Starter and Victoria both dead. Unfortunately. The Hall of Fame, yeah, as you can see. There we go. Like, this will show you that we actually did beat it. The one-time Famer. And it shows all of our mons on there. So that shows you that like I actually did beat it and everything, but I don't know what that would really uh, prove, but unfortunately, yeah, so go ahead and, which I could have just went to move. Uh, yeah, let's just go to move. We'll move you to box two. Sucks that we lost Mushi and Victoria. Victoria would have been a fantastic Firemon, but that's literally the second Firemon we've lost. And do we have any more water types on our team? Uh, 
we've got Sleepy, Lori, Pip, and Ruby. That's not what I want to do. Yeah, none of these no surf. Oh wait, Lori does surf. Okay, so we're good. We're just gonna leave that blank for just a little bit and we're just gonna continue on. But uh, let me see. Do I have my... I don't have any of that on me, that's right, I put it all away. Alright, let's take both of those out. I'll take the leftovers out. Oh, and I also found out the Dragon Scales doesn't work the way it does in future, like, in future games where you can actually use it on an item or on a mon if you, um, have the impossible evolutions turned on. So we can't get a Kingdra, unless we can catch another one in, in the wild as a Kingdra. Yeah, I think that's about all we need to, um, withdraw, unfortunately, or fortunately. Yep, alright, so we're good. Which I also did train up... Actually, you know what? That's actually a good idea. I did train up a few of the Mons. Off-screen, just to kind of replace them, since, you know... I kind of did... Screw up. Like, I kind of sort of trained a few of them. I, I trained up the Lapras, the Blastoise, a lot of the Water Mons, just to, like, I have a little bit of choice between which ones I want to... The... which ones I wanted to replace the Starmie with. Unfortunately, we don't really have a good replacement, in my opinion. Like, this one wasn't that great. I, it was stupid for me to sit there and waste, like, freaking 20 minutes trying to level this stupid thing up. But I did, anyways. But you have an item. Why do you have an item? What item do you have? Anybody else have an item? No, you don't. So, what the hell item do you have on you? Oh, you had the King's Rock. That's right, I was trying to evolve it, and I couldn't do it, so. Because I wanted it to be a uh, a slow king instead of a slow bro, but that didn't quite happen. Um, we'll move Steve over here just to make it a full box. There we go. Switch to that one. And there was a few other ones that I did level up. Who was it that I leveled up? Uh, the Venusaur, Dylan, and Squishy, and Buzz. Which, we don't need really any of these. I mean, maybe Venusaur would be a good replacement for now, because I don't think we have a Grassmon on our team right now, but... I think we're gonna go ahead and get the Feraligator, just because it's Gen 2. So I think that's the one we're gonna go ahead and go with for now. And we're gonna keep these other ones in here just because they're Gen 1s and it's not really something I want to, you know, deal with. If we can, I would like to use all Gen 2 Pokemon, so... Which right now, I am, so that actually works. Let's go back to New Bark Town real quick and talk to Professor Elm, which, if I'm not mistaken, he gives us the National Dex, I think is what it's called. Knight, there you are! I called because I have something for you. See, it's our SS ticket. So, how do you get to the SS? The ship departs from Olivine City. But you knew that already, huh? <clears throat> Okay, so apparently that's how we get to Kanto. So, where's Olivine? There we go. I guess we'll just go ahead and head to Kanto then. Unfortunately, I really wish there was a... I think this is the way. Hi. 
Wait, what? what is this? Is this a special route? Oh, this is the Olivine City. Okay. Welcome to Fast Ship SS Aqua. Will you be boarding today? Sure. Alright, let's go. Alright, so apparently we're gonna be going to Kanto now. We're gonna have Vermilion City to, for a flight play. Oh god. Whoa! Excuse me, son! I was in a hurry! My granddaughter is missing! She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Alright. I don't know. Can we heal here? No, we can't. I don't. Hopefully there's a way to heal. Hopefully this is okay with everybody that this is what happened and we're basically just gonna have to skip the Elite Four. Even though I technically didn't skip it. <laughs> really? My attack missed? I didn't know Fly could even miss. Hypno. Yeah, we should be able to stay in with this guy. Yeah, because I'm not mistaken, Hypno's defense isn't that great either. So it should be a one. Oh no, not quite a one shot. This isn't going to do anything to me because I am. It's part psychic, so. Yeah, as you can see, I actually taught Sleepy Hydro Punch. Hydro Punch, Hydro Pump, through, through its level up. Which, now that I think about that, would be a good little thing for me to do as a team recap. To show you exactly, because there is a few things that uh, they have learned that is different. As you can see, Sleepy the Lugia now has Hydro Pump on there instead of Safeguard, but everything else is basically the same for this guy. Uh, I gave it Sharp Beak to increase its fly moves, like the damage it does, and then Lori... Unfortunately, it still has Thunder Shock, but it has Surf and Thunder Wave and Cotton Spore still, so it's like, this one hasn't trained much, but it does have Magnet, that way it will increase the power of Thunder Shock a little bit, just to make it, you know, a little bit more viable. And then Pip... I think we did this on screen last time, but it now knows Earthquake instead of Blizzard, so it should be a little bit better just because it has a better accuracy and it's still stab and it has more PP to it. So there's that, and it's holding soft sand to make Earthquake that much more powerful, so. And then there is Ruby. This this woman, whew, she, she is something else. And instead of uh, confusion, we now have Psybeam on her, which is considerably more powerful. And as you know, the pink bow is to help increase strength. I need to get something to increase our psychic, uh, s psychic move more than strength, I think. But it is what it is. And of course, we now got Dylan on the team with slash leer bite and water gun, which we could teach this one surf, to be honest. Even though its special attack's not that great, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, is there anything in your trash? Nope. Anything in this trash can? Nope. Alright, that was, I guess that was it for this little room. Anything in here? Can we heal on one of these? I guess not. Nothing in here. I don't remember what we have to do. Oh, we can! Okay. This must be my room. Nice, okay. And there's a PC right here. Awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and head into these. I'm guessing you're, yeah, you're a battle. 
Let us hit fly. Since you're such a low level, this is not going to be that big of a deal. Suicune. That's actually kind of dangerous, but we'll... One arrow blast should knock you out. Okay, we're good. I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do is start speeding up through these battles. Wow, there's like almost nothing on this ship. Like the one from Gen 1, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh god, of course. Hydro Pump misses. To be honest, I should teach it Surf instead of Hydro Pump. It just has more, more PP to it. Arrow blast, there we go. You know what, let's actually switch to Lori for a little bit. Hi. I can't find my granddaughter, she's on the ship. If I'm not mistaken, she's in the captain's quarters. And then you gotta go play hide and seek with her or some stupid crap like that, which I guess we gotta go down here. Hi. Are you serious? Okay, so is he one of these guys in these rooms? Are you him? No, you're not him. Okay, so where the hell is he? It's not in my room. Are you him? Okay. Yep, yeah, you're the right guy. So, Thundershock, see how much this does. It does a decent amount to lower level guys, so that works. Okay, so we got that part done. So now we can go past there to find the darter. Hi. Yeah, these guys are such low level at the moment. This is kind of silly. Anything in this trash bin? There's nothing in there. Okay. Holy shit, an Articuno. Okay. Yeah, alright. And that's all that's in here, apparently. Can he battle you? Yep, we can battle you. One serve will be good, goodbye. It's kind of silly how they did that to her. The, um... Right there's the little girl. Hi! Oh! Grandpa's worried about me. I have to go! You entertained my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that. I know I'd like to have you have this metal coat. That literally does nothing for me. Since I can't trade. I wouldn't mind having a scissor. Or a steelix, to be honest. It is what it is, I guess. And here we are in Vermilion City. Nice. Which, this city has a shitload of encounters we can do, if I'm not mistaken. Well, not really, because I know there's a... I think there's a Snorlax in the way of the Diglett Cave. Yep. <sighs> of course. But, I think we can actually go directly to Celadon from here. Holy shit, we've got a lot of freaking money from all those battles. Yeah, and plus from the Elite Four. 
So, let's just buy a shitload of Ultra Balls. We're gonna start needing these. Let's buy 25 of those. 10 more Hyper Potions. And a bunch of Super Potions, just so we can use these to heal. Like, off-screen, that way we're not wasting Hyper Potions to heal. Well, what the hell is this? Oh. Mail. Alright, and... Do you know about the Magnet Train? It's a railway that goes from Boulder Rod to Johto. Okay. Okay, but well y'all can go to Saffron. Isn't this the Pokemon fan's house? I wonder if we get anything from him this time around. Yes, I did. Rapid Ash, so cute, blah blah blah. Hey, he's got a random rare candy. Okay. Which, we'll come back to the gym in a little bit. We actually want to get some encounters real quick. See if we can't... Which, we can actually get a surf encounter right here. Let's get this one really quick, then. Here we go! Oh! A fucking Snorlax! Oh, hell yes! Uh, a Thundershock shouldn't kill this... this thing, because this, like, this thing's pretty beastly. Oh, yeah. actually gonna get hit it one more time and then go out to Lori to put the sucker to sleep just to help catch it a little bit easier. I'm gonna try to use all my regular Pokeballs first. Okay, let's head out to... not Lori, to Ruby, I mean. <gasps> oh, thank God. Yeah, please don't kill yourself. I guess it can't use it unless it has over half HP. That'd be kind of nice, that way it doesn't kill itself. Which, holy shit! A Snorlax with Belly Drum?! I probably should be using Ultra Balls on this just to help catch it a little bit easier. Because it does have a rather difficult catch rate, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's try the Friend Ball, why not? Boo! A yellow ball. No, not even close. Alright, throw an ultra ball. I'd rather not lose this just because it'd be kind of nice to have a Snorlax on backup. Oh, come on, Snorlax. Okay, go back to sleep, please. Try a regular Pokeball. Why not? Come on. I guess Belly Drum doesn't work unless you have the HP for it, so you can't kill yourself with it like a uh, Cursed can. That'd be kind of nice if that's true. Come on. Stay in the damn ball. Thank you! There we go! We got the freaking Snorlax, awesome. Yeah, we'll give it a nickname and yeah, just just because it's kind of really fitting for this guy. We're gonna name him Chubbs. Tristan the Sailor, why do you still have my number? How do I get rid of your number? Delete. Yes. So wait, that actually came into my uh, party. Yeah, we don't want you in the party just yet. We want to see what else we can get. 
Well, you know what? Actually, it wouldn't be bad to have it in the party, I guess, just case. If anything, it's a really, really... T oh, wait, can't we get a Poke Rod from this guy? I am the fishing guru, the elder of the fishing gurus. Do you happen to know Fisherman Wilton? He fishes on Route 44. He came through with an amazing tip on the phone. Thanks to him, I caught a whole lot of rare Pokemon. What a date. Oh, I guess not. Well, screw you. Give me a freaking Pokemon. Give me a rod. There we go. Which we can get an encounter right here too. So let's go ahead and get the one from here. Which this is Route 6. Okay. Let's get the one from in here real quick. Which it probably would have been better to surf. This is dupes. Yeah, we're gonna surf. Because I think we might get a higher level one if we surf. Let's see what we get. A Raichu! Nice! Level 11, rip. We literally can't hit this thing with anything. Um... Guess we'll go out the ruby and put it to sleep. Uh, didn't we have someone with Confuse Ray? Or was that... I think that was, um... Starmie, and Starmie died, unfortunately. I don't think it was you. I had, no, you didn't have it. So let's just try to catch it. Oh, God, no, that's not the button I hit. Well, so much for right, you. Oh, my goodness. Sitting there scratching my freaking hand, and when I press down to go back to the the pack for some reasons, yeah, well that happened. Go away, Goldie. Nobody wants you. If I'm not mistaken, we can actually just straight up go through here without worrying. And this is Saffron, which we want to head to sell it on for the Pokemart. Which, this should be a new route too, actually. Yep, Route 7. Okay, let's just go ahead and get a Pokemon right here too. Let's see if we can't get anything good. A Tangula? That's dupes. That is not dupes. Okay. Let's just Thunder Wave it. Hit it with a Great Ball. Hey, here we go, we got it. You know, it's really funny, I used to play with the old baseball uh, baseball cards, but I think they were uh, called Topps Baseball Cards. So I think that's a befitting name for him. Pops. Well, that works. What the hell is this? What's this flyer? Uncouth trainers have been holding battles and blah 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 blah, no one cares. Alright, the main reason I wanted to go to the Celadon uh, Pokemart is because I think there is more TMs you can buy in here, so... Hopefully there's something decent in them, which... What are we selling with you? floor while you're trading. There we go. An attack that may flick a, inflict a burn. Okay. That sounds interesting. Reduces the foe defense. That's, I think, Tail Whip. Or one of those. A second strike move that never misses. What the hell would that be? Uh, Skull Bash? Maybe? Prevents fleeing or switching. Powerful, but makes the user faint. Wait, what? Oh, explosion more than likely. So, unfortunately, no electrical move. That one I'm interested in. So, do we have anything that we can sell a bunch of? 
And we can sell both of these max potions. I don't really need those right now. And we'll sell two full hills, just so we would get the 3,000. Because I want to see what this one is. Sacred fire! Holy shit! <laughs> now that is a move! Holy crap, now that is a power freaking, powerful freaking move! I think you just sell Carbos and shit like that. Nope, you sell weird stuff. Okay, whatever. Yeah, y'all are the ones that sell the weird stuff. The X accuracies, carbos, and stuff like that. Is the little girl up here still wanting thirsty stuff? Being thirsty, you know. That's just Gen 1, unfortunately, I think. Oh, there's no game here. I want you to play. Well, too bad. Yeah, we'll go to the first floor. Alright, so that's actually a really, really nice TM to know that we can get in the future if we need it. Freaking Sacred Fire, so in other words, if we get another Fire Mon somewheres, 